Hi everyone! <laughs> Hi everyone! Happy 2016 and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had amazing holidays and got lots of presents for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And I'm really excited to kick off 2016 with a new video. I really wanted to share with you one of the best tips that I picked up last year in 2015. If you watch my videos, you will have noticed me do this before. You may have picked up on it, you may not have. You may have even thought it was a bit weird, but trust me, it makes so much sense once it's explained and I really think it will make the way you do your winged liner a little bit easier. Okay, so there are no secrets here. My best tip that I picked up last year that I'll be using probably forever now is to do your winged liner first. That's it. That's my tip. Okay, I guess that probably needs a little bit of explaining. So hands up if you have shaky hands. Hands up if you have unsteady hands. Hands up if some days you just suck at doing a winged liner. Hands up if sometimes you have done the best makeup you think you've done to date and then you try and do a winged liner over the top of it and you stuff it all up. Yeah, me too. Doing your winged liner first changes all of that. It changes the game. You can stuff it up as much as you want to. You can apply too much product, you can apply not enough product, you can apply outside the lines. You can get it all over your face and you can still clean it up. Let me show you how. First up, I let my base product sink into my skin. I usually start with an oil, but you can use a moisturizer, your primer, whatever you like to begin with. While that's sinking into my skin and working its magic, I like to do my winged liner. Now, for your wing liner, you can use any choice of product. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, which is a very, very black liner. This is a felt tip. I personally find these super easy to use. However, if I was doing makeup on a client, I would probably be more likely to use a gel eyeliner with an angle brush. The other things I like to keep on hand, other than my winged liner, would always be an angle brush and some baby wipes and sticky tape is optional if you'd like to use it as a guide. You can use a guide for this, you can use short strokes, you can use long strokes, you can go freehand, you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I now feel more comfortable going freehand, however on a client I feel more comfortable using sticky tape. I'm kidding, you do not want to use gaffer tape for your winged liner. I would choose something more like this, which is just a sticky tape from a $2 shop. It's easy, sticky enough, does the trick. For an easy way to find an angle that will suit your face, you can find the angle from the corner of your nose to the corner of your brow and apply your liner in that direction. Find the highest point of your eye and from that point inwards make the line thinner and from that point outwards make the line thicker. This will create the best cat eye shape for your eyes. If you make any mistakes, I'm always guaranteed to make a mistake on myself, then go in with your angled liner brush and a baby wipe, dampen it and clean it up. You can do this as many times as you want. You can apply, reapply, fix it up. You can do it as many times as you need to until you get the perfect wing. Once you've finished your winged liner, go in and clean up with some concealer and just be really careful not to knock the wing that you have just finished. You can finish the rest of your makeup off around this and just be careful not to bump it. However, if you do, you can just use little tiny strokes to fix it up. Next, apply some lashes that accentuate the wing. I like to apply a half set that I apply on the outer corner, which lifts my eyes a little bit, and then I'll apply individuals from where they finish and inwards. Tight line your upper waterline to make sure that there is no skin showing and to get the blackest, most lush line possible. And that is your winged liner completed. I really hope some of these tips helped you out a little bit and I will see you in my next video.